Hey everyone, I wanted to talk today about a topic in ceramics known as glaze fit. Uh, this is a big topic uh, and what it is, if you've never heard of this, is the way a glaze fits onto a body. Now typically you're going to see this in a few things, uh, in things like crazing here, because uh, that is poor glaze fit is what crazing is. In glaze fit there are five main topics in which we are concerned with. Uh, the first being crackling craze, the second being shivering, and uh, the third being dunting, the fourth being chipping, and the fifth being crawling. Now four of these involve the two concepts I'm going to talk about later, uh, and the other one, which is crawling here, doesn't necessarily involve these two topics, it does in a little bit, but it involves a different part of glaze fit. The two topics I wanted to talk about um, that involve these four here are thermal expansion and glaze body interaction. Now, Stop a talk on thermal expansion. Thermal expansion, what it is, is a rate of expansion when exposed to temperature change. Typically, you're going to see these numbers as things as like 6.8, 10.0, 5.8, 8 8.3. You get the point. Um, but really what these numbers are, are all of these numbers times 10 to the negative seventh. Uh, that means that it is expanding at a 0 0.0000068, typically in inches or centimeters per degree, typically Celsius, but sometimes can be Fahrenheit. Um, now, that is a very small number. That small number doesn't seem like it matters. But if you think how big an atom is, an atom is 0 0.0000000x. Now, depending on which atom you're talking about. So that number here is big for an atom. Um, that's actually a big change. Uh, and depending on what uh, elements you have and the expansion you have, that can be pretty drastic. Now, to give you a bit of an example about why this, how this kind of works is let's say you have in a body and you have your glaze. You pull them out of the kiln and they fit perfectly. Now, all of a sudden you pour coffee into it and we're going to say this is room temp here. You pour coffee into it and it heats up. Let's say that actually heats up to 89 degrees Celsius. Great. This body is going to expand. Let's say it expands this much. And the glaze actually expands this much. Now, to explain this a little more, I'm going to have to actually explain glaze body interaction first to help you understand this a little bit. Now, what glaze body interaction is, is you have a body and then you have a glaze. Now, this is probably what it looks like before you fire it. Now, let's say this is a very high calcium glaze. And your body has a lot of nephsi in it. So this is going to be a very high sodium body. Now, when this is fired, all chemistry wants to eat, reach an equilibrium point. And that equilibrium point means if, this, if the body is lower in calcium than the glaze, calcium is going to go over into the body a bit. Now, this isn't going to be this far in, but it's going to go over. And likewise, the sodium is going to go over. Now, because that happens, what's going to happen is the glaze is going to begin to melt just a little thin section of the body. And that thin section of the body that it melts causes the glaze to stick to the body. Now, Let's say that these are the same bodies we have here. Now, 
if this body has an expansion of let's say 6.8 and this body this glaze has an expansion of 8.0 when that glaze expands and that was fit perfectly and fused perfectly on top of each other you can see that like this great see that that fits perfectly but when you expand it it's going to put stress on that glaze because that glaze can't expand as much as it wants to. So when it's trying to expand, it's gonna to have to release stress. And how it does that is causing micro cracks, cracks nonetheless, in your glaze all the way down to the body. And that is what crazing is. Um, and that is why glaze fit is so important, is because these two numbers right here need to match in order for no flaws to happen. Now I'm gonna explain in another video how these things happen and what if the body is so much higher and these are flopped or what if it's 8.0 and 7.9. But if you guys have any questions on these two concepts, please ask, leave comments, let us know. Uh, we are happy to answer all and any of your questions. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys all in the next one.